fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this program called Overwolf to display build orders in your StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. And it's awesome because you can use it in custom games, ranked and unranked ladders, and it does not violate any kind of Blizzard TOS, and you're good to go and ready to have a lot of good time. So how does this work? If you go to overwolf.com, go ahead, download it, and install it. I also recommend you also make an account. And if you're curious, if you go to supported games, you'll see all the other games that Overwolf supports. But in today's example, we're going to be talking about strictly for StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. So once you've done downloading it and installing it, go ahead, run the shortcut, shortcut excuse me, that's on your desktop. And then you'll see this little program is booting up. And then you'll see this main program that will show you the news and all the different apps that you could download, for example, to your computer. In my particular case, I'm just going to go to my library, click on StarCraft 2 and click on Launch. And then it is going to go ahead and load uh, the StarCraft 2 Blizzard.net client. And then from there, you can go ahead and click the Play button. Once you're inside your uh, game, you can basically press Control tab to bring up the Overwolf. And then you can also press Alt-Q, I believe, where it shows you the build orders. But we'll talk about that once we're finally inside the StarCraft 2 game. And if you guys want to play with me on StarCraft 2, let me know. I'll put my gamer ID tag in the video description, and we're ready to have a lot of good time. So all you got to do, basically, is click on the play button, and the Overwolf program will automatically load in conjunction with the game, and it's awesome. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we are in the main menu of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, so let's do this. If you press Control tab that brings up the Overwolf um, overlay. Click on the App Store. You can do this outside of the game or in the game. I forgot to mention earlier, but what we're going to do is once the program loads up, we're going to search for StarCraft II and install the spawning tool, Build Advisor is what it's called. So here we are. Go ahead, download it, and install it, and you can also launch it as well. So this is what it looks like basically. Let's say you're in a in a match, ranked or unranked or a custom game. Basically, you select your race over here, you select the enemy's race over here, and then it will sort sort and give you the list of build orders. So let's say for example that I want to do a Zerg and let's say the enemy is also uh, a Terran, for example. I click on this one, and then here's the overlay on the right hand side. You can press F6 to pause and play the game timer. You can also do Alt Q which looks like it, it changes this interface a little bit there. And you can also scroll through this. So let's go ahead and do a real quick example of a custom AI game. So multiplayer, custom, um, let me get this Overwatch, not Overwatch, Overwolf, excuse me. Let's do a Descent Station LE, create a game. And then what we're gonna do is uh, add an AI. Um, we could do that, Terran for example. And then good to go. Sometimes I like to mess around and use a build order that's not necessarily for the same enemy race uh, because maybe I like that kind of strategy like a three base roach all in or something like that. But you get the idea and let's say that uh, I want to pick a different build order to follow by. So once I'm inside the game I'm going to change that up. I could do this actually. I could click on this arrow and we know that uh, we, there's a Terran. So let's say I want to do a different one like a two base Nidus for example. And then here's the, here's the build order. And then go ahead and just follow through quiet, and do minerals. what you do. And hopefully you might win. But if you don't, go ahead, take a look at your replay and do another game. And just get familiar with the build order. And over time, you should get better uh, as you play more and more games, basically. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, let me comment here on a YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.